Hey everyone, Michael here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the holy trinity of indicators on TradingView. This is gonna make your life a lot easier in regards to trading, and it'll help you guys get some more consistent profits, which are gonna be key if you guys wanna go full time. Now, before we get started, smash that subscribe button. That way you guys can start your journey to financial freedom. Let's make some money, everybody. First things first, we are using a meta chart today in case you guys do wanna follow along. First of all, go over here to indicators, metrics, and strategies, and I want you guys to type in whole suite just like that. And you're gonna see the top one right here by Encelico. I want you guys to click on this once, okay? Now, we have to set this up first. The first one you guys are gonna be changing right now is gonna be length. You can leave whole variation and source alone. Length, I want you guys to turn this from 55 to 60. Afterwards, you're gonna see length multiplier. I want you guys to change this from one to three. Then the last thing you guys are gonna be changing is the line thickness here at the bottom. I want you guys to change that from one to 15. Then hit okay. And voila, that is done. Next, we're gonna be adding on the Donchian Trend Ribbon. Pay attention to how I spell this because it can get confusing. All right, Donchian Trend Ribbon. You, can, you guys can just type in Donchian Trend, or just Trend. And then you guys are gonna be looking for the top one right here, Donchian Trend Ribbon by Lonesome. Click on that one time. What I prefer to do is actually make this very small and make it as small as I can. And then afterwards, you guys wanna go over to settings and you guys are gonna change this 20 to 30. All right. Afterwards, you're going to add one more on here, and it's the Super Trend. It's going to be Super Trend by Kivan. Okay, we're right there with 36,000 likes about right now. You're going to click on this, and again, we have to change some stuff up on it. After this, I want you guys to go over here to ATR, and I want you guys to turn the ATR from 10 to 50. And then I want you to change the ATR multiplier from 3 to 5.1. Afterwards, hit OK. And this is how you guys are going to be using this chart. So how do you guys actually make money using these three indicators? In short, you want everything to be green. You want the doji and ribbon to be green. You want the bar right here to be green. And you also want the buy signal coming up. That's what's going to determine if you guys actually buy or short into a position. In this example here, as far as meta is concerned, you could see you would have bought right here. And this would actually still be saying you should hold it. But you can see if you were still holding it right now, it'd be around 20% up. In fact, if you actually played, played it through earnings, which is a little bit more risky, of course, you would be up around 45% at this moment in time, which would be a crazy, crazy profit. On the other hand, if you want buy, buy, buy to go up, of course, if you guys are looking to short, you guys would want red, 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 right? The triple red. In this example, if I go back a little bit, let me see. Um, looks like we had a sell signal here, the red bar over here and red over here. So you wouldn't have actually started to buy this or seen me open up a short position until right here until, until it turned into red, okay? Until we got right over here. You see this little sell? You can imagine that sell coming all the way. Every single day this line is there, that's pretty much a sell. So you could have shorted right here the first day in the red or right there as soon as everything was red. And then boom, you could have made an easy opportunity or it was an easy opportunity to make some money. Over the first 10 days, it was down eight, then it went down 10, then it went down 13, then it went down 15. Of course, you guys have to be careful with this. And what I would say is if you guys are gonna be using this, have a basic stop loss. You don't really have to overthink these types of stop losses here. For this example, we had all the buy signals come out. If you guys were looking for a support zone to actually have the stop loss, it'd be right around here around 112 bucks. So you open a position right here, you're risking about 10% if it does not go your way, okay? On the upside here, what are you looking for? You could be using Fibonacci levels, a whole bunch of other stuff but you're basically just looking to get back up here. Okay, that's the goal. So if you're buying here, we're getting close to that resistance. We're in fact, we already broke out above it because of earnings, but that's the play you'd be looking for there. And of course you could always scale out again, using your basic technical analysis skills of whether it's a Fibonacci level, whatever, you can see stopped, stopped, stopped. Uh, well, kind of gapped up, I shouldn't say, but you can see how you guys could have scaled out along this route at the same time. Or instead of using this, of course, you guys could always just say, hey, there's some resistance right there. We we're actually buying after we've broken out above that. Right here, we might face some resistance right there. And so you guys could scale it using your own methods, but it's not gonna be that hard for you guys to know when to buy and sell using this method. Another example here is once you get everything set up, you guys can just switch it over to other, diff uh, other assets, right? So here's Bitcoin on the chart. You can see we had buy signals going buy, buy, buy. This one told you to buy right there. And of course, if you bought, you would still have an opportunity to make some money as far as Bitcoin is concerned. But for Bitcoin, it looks like it doesn't have many buy signals here. The, <laughs> the sell signal hit way, way over here um, years ago now, back in 2021. So whenever this does tell you to buy, it seems like a nice opportunity. Although we are still technically in a bear market, 
it is nice to have finally have a buy signal going for Bitcoin. You could also do this for weekly charts and other things like that. Particularly, I don't like to. That's just me. I like this on the daily chart and the daily chart alone. This is really for you swing traders out there that want to make good money by holding for a week, a week plus, and just kind of ranking those profits and be confident the trade is going to continue moving off. If you guys also want to get an edge on this one, I would suggest also adding this indicator as well. It's called the squeeze indicator, squeeze momentum indicator by Lazy Bear. Just click that on there. I have a tutorial. I'll put it up on top if you guys want to see it. But basically the way this one works is you're looking for crosses. So let me make this move up a little bit more. There we go. And this is actually telling you to buy a few days before the buy signal here and everything went green. So this told you to buy it right here, whereas the buy signal and everything told you to buy right there. So you could have sold out on a few, uh, you could have made a few more percent profit if you wanted to. But again, you don't have to use this bottom one with it, but I always think this one is also another helpful usage, especially because you can make this particular bar so small. In fact, I would just move the plane up one and then you, then you can kind of play around with it a little bit more because charts don't have to be so massive, especially when you have the auto mode going on, right? So I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, please make sure to subscribe and watch some other content.